That's not what you think. You don't understand! Well, I don't understand! You see that girl back there? Look! That there my brother's little girl. My niece, you understand? And around here, family is a righteous cause. And you ain't gonna kill my family. Joe Baker is the main character that you'll be playing during the events of the End of Zoe DLC for the game, Resident Evil 7 Biohazard. The only known member of the Baker family who wasn't affected by the E-Series bioweapon Evelyn, Joe Baker is something of a hermit, living out his days in the isolation of Dolby, Louisiana's swamps. In fact, Joe is so far removed from even his own family's lives that he doesn't even know anything of the struggles that the Bakers have been enduring since Evelyn's arrival at the Baker home over three years ago. Oh. Oh, she's so young. Yeah, how's our other guests? Sleeping, poor thing. No, oh, I say let him. He'll be okay here for a few days, at least was till we can get him into town. Zoe, go get some fresh clothes from the laundry room, okay? Oh. We know very little about this extremely strong and simple isolationist, save for a few details that can be gathered from some of the things that he says and his appearance during his encounters with the Molded. Joe is related to the Baker family by way of Jack, being Jack's older brother as well as Lucas and Zoe's uncle. Growing up, conflict between Jack and Joe seemed to be a fairly common occurrence. Joe even recounting times such as when he clotheslined Jack into the swamp and broke Jack's nose during one of their scuffles. Yet, despite this, Joe still seems to have a deep adoration for his family and tries desperately to protect them when the need arises. Like Jack, Joe seems to have been with the US military in his younger days, wearing a set of dog tags around his neck and perhaps even being the inspiration for Jack to join the forces himself. His time with the military likely contributing to his incredible hand-to-hand -hand combat abilities, a skill which was probably forged from his constant conflicts with Jack, refined during his time in the military. For one reason or another, after his time in the military, Joe returned to his hometown of Dolby, returning to the swamps that he grew up in and loved as a child. These swamps would become Joe's life, and he stayed very near the Baker's family home, but rarely if ever visited, until one day, strange creatures started appearing in the swamps that he knew so well. Evelyn's influence on the surrounding areas had grown so wide that her mold had begun to infect the surrounding landscape. However, Joe wasn't going to let a few new annoyances keep him from enjoying his solitary lifestyle. So instead of moving or calling for help, he simply adapted to fighting these new strange creatures whenever they got in his way. For weeks, he savagely beat the life out of these fungal creatures, until one day, while wandering the swamplands, he came across two strange men, standing over his unconscious niece, Zoe. That's her, all right. Zoe Baker. She's still breathing. Call in the HQ. What'd you say, Zoe? Sir, do you live here? What the hell's wrong with her? We're Zoe! here to help, so everything- What in God's name have you done? Sir. Not knowing what had happened, nor who these two strange soldiers were, Joe attacked the Blue Umbrella agents, dragging one of them back to his cabin for questioning, as well as bringing back Zoe to try and understand what was wrong. The agent explained Zoe's situation to the bearded isolationist, telling Joe that Zoe had been infected, but that a cure was located nearby. Joe sought this cure out, but it wasn't enough to stop the virus. And with the death of the agent at the hands of a new B.O.W., Joe took Zoe to search out more of the serum. Joe searched for the cure, but time and again was stopped by a strange new B.O.W. that seemed hell-bent on stopping Joe from curing his niece. Joe, however, was undeterred, and defeated this new B.O.W. at every turn. Until eventually, it took Zoe just as Joe was about to administer the curing dose. 
Tracking down his beloved niece to a church deep within the swamp, Joe was met yet again by the strange creature. And after a brief conflict between the two, it was revealed that Jack was the culprit all along, mutated yet again by Evelyn's mold. This time, Jack managed to defeat Joe, encasing him in a coffin, which would later reach a shore near the Baker family home. Joe approached the family's property, finding a special weapon that would aid him in combat with his new heavily mutated brother. And so, confused, but understanding what needed to be done in order to save the last remaining member of his family, Joe approached his brother's recently quarantined home for one last family brawl with his little brother. Zoe! Zoe, wake up, wake up! <laughs> Yoda's the rabbit dog now. I'm gonna put you out of your misery. 